Slippery slope arguments say that we shouldn't do something, call it A, because A will lead to B and B will lead to C and so on, until we end up with something bad. For example, someone might argue against requiring additional background checks for gun owners because they'll say, well, if we allow that, then the government will want to restrict the type of guns and then the number of guns, and before you know it, the freedom to own a gun will be completely taken away. Or to take an example that I'm quite familiar with, people used to argue against same-sex marriage by saying that same-sex marriage would lead to polygamy and then incest, bestiality. People would just marry their kitchen appliances or something. Happy anniversary, darling. The general idea is that adopting this policy will send us down a slippery slope. Or open a can of worms or a Pandora's box, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. There are different ways of saying the same thing, but they share the idea that the initial step will send us down a path to something bad. Such claims depend upon certain empirical assumptions. They assume connections between A and B, B and C, and so on. And not all such claims are created equal. For instance, We've had same-sex marriage in the United States for a number of years, but it hasn't led to a great wave of support for polygamy, much less to people marrying their cats or their toasters. On the other hand, for example, there's reliable evidence that if we raise the speed limit from 55 to 65, people will be more likely to drive 75. In other words, some slopes are actually slippery. And there's the question about whether the alleged result is actually a bad thing. Maybe 75 is an unsafe rate of speed on this particular highway. Maybe not. Maybe polygamy has bad social consequences. Maybe not. We can debate these things. The point is, if you're going to make a slippery slope argument, be prepared to answer the following two questions. First, what's the evidence for the alleged slippage? And second, what's so bad about the bottom of the slope? I'm John Corvino, and this is Better Argument.